Okay, welcome to part two of an example of doing mesh analysis with everything thrown in. Uh, independent sources, dependent sources, both current and voltage sources. As I said in part one, this is the sort of thing that uh, evil professors would put on a test. Okay, so in part one, we went through all four meshes and we developed four equations in our four unknowns. Our four unknowns again are I1, I2, I3, and I4. And so I've rewritten these four equations uh, below our circuit and now the only thing left to do is uh, go to a computational engine which again can be um, something online, uh, your favorite method of solving uh, systems of linear equations. So let's go to Wolfram Alpha and we'll start typing in these equations. So A1, which is what I'm going to uh, call I1, times 50 ohms plus 40 ohms plus 30 ohms minus A3 times 30 ohms minus A4 times 40 ohms is equal to zero. That's our first equation. A3 minus A2 is equal to 0.4 A1 minus A4. That's our second equation. A1 times 5 ohms minus 30 plus A2 times 20 plus A3 times 30 is equal to minus 80 and finally A1 times 40 minus 20 plus A4 times 40 is equal to 80. So there we have it. I'll hit return and see what Wolfram Alpha gives us. Okay, it uh, gives us several different ways of, uh, of writing it out and then it gives us a solution. And the solution is that uh, uh, I1 is 0 0.19, uh, we'll go out three digits, 0 0.190, I2 is minus 1.09, um, I3 is minus 1.78 and I4 is 1.90. So we go back to our circuit and we can say then that I1 according to our computations is uh, 0.190 amps, that's I1. I2 is minus 1.09 amps. I3 is minus 1.78 amps and I4 is 1.90 amps. So there you have it. That gives us all of our mesh currents. And now we can go back and figure out what uh, other voltages and currents in the circuit are. So for example, if we wanted to know what I sub A is, we know that I sub A is the negative of I1, so that would be minus 0 0.190 amps. If we wanted to know what, uh, say, V sub B, well, that's 40 ohms times, uh, let's see, I1, which is 0 0.190 amps minus I4, which is uh, 1.90 amps, 
And that is, if I work that out, we'll use Google Plus as our um, or Google as our calculator. That's 68.4. Okay, so V sub B would be 68.4 volts. Okay, and you can go through the entire circuit figuring out voltages and currents as necessary. So, um, hopefully this has given you some confidence. Uh, like I say, this is probably the worst sort of circuit that could be thrown at you. Um, as you can see, it's really not that hard. You just have to be aware of what type of source you're dealing with. If you've got a current source, then you'll have to do a super mesh. If you have dependent current or voltage sources, then uh, you figure out the controlling current or voltage in terms of your mesh currents, and it all works out pretty well. So hopefully this has been helpful.